sometimes uh, the feedback or that brutal honesty comes through the form of jokes. You know, you have those moments when you're in class and nothing's even funny, but you're just laughing and laughing and laughing and no, everybody else is sort of like, come on, it's not that funny. And you're like, but it is, it's so funny. And when you have somebody to share that experience with, it just makes it so, so good. If I can't laugh with you, if you're deadly serious, I'm going to find you hard work eventually and you're going to find me weird. I work with a girl who is the total opposite of me and I adore her. She, there's not one thing we agree on. Uh, we travel a lot together in our jobs. Uh, she is hysterical and she thinks that I'm a nutcase. So we just have this great time together. Like I know sometimes I get a little bit full of myself and, you know, a mate will be like, oh, you know, um, you know, close the ceiling on the roof, his head's about to blow. The enjoyment, delight even, in pricking pomposity is an incredibly important part of my friends. It's nothing I like better than people who will, you know, target the... Um, the edges of the Great One's robes, that's, that's just fabulous fun. A bit of schadenfreude, a bit of delight in other people's misery, always love that too. We'll be at dinner together in a shishi restaurant in Donzene and he'll drop the fork and there'll be poodles all around. And J Jackie, an old trick, he'll drop, drop the fork and he puts his head down on the table and he goes <coughs> and the poodles go ballistic. You had to be there. But, you know, the first time he did that, every poodle in the restaurant goes berserk. And I, and I laugh and laugh and laugh. And so there's a, there's a bond through laughing, as I suppose there is through crying.